Okay, so I'm standing here with... Peter McNeil. And you're with what show? W Moonshine, right now, uh, we just finished Moonshine. I just interviewed one of your uh, co-stars, right. Jennifer. Jennifer's a lovely girl who I love working with. And you've been nominated for a very special award. Tell us a little bit about that. The Earl Grey Award is for a significant contribution to film and television in a lifetime. A Lifetime Achievement Award. It's like, um, maybe it's like a goodbye award. No, I don't think so. I'm still working, so. So you had, a, obviously, a span at this, and um, I'd like to hear from you. How has it changed for you, being a Canadian actor, has it changed for you from when you first got going to where you are now? Now I wait for offers. I don't, <laughs> I'm, you know, you get to a certain age and uh, go through a certain amount of, of work. Things have changed. Now you, you audition in your own home, you self-tape, and you send it away. So the competition has gone way, way up because they can get self-tapes from around the world. There used to be Toronto actors went into an audition room and hoped to get a job. But now they're auditioning along with hundreds and hundreds of other people. So it's a little tougher for the kids coming up now. I, I, you know, I don't envy them at all. So do you have any advice on how to stand out? Do the work, do your homework. That's, that's really the key to everything, do your homework. What's the most favorite role you've ever played? I've just been working with Sherry Elwood on two series. One was called Call Me Fitz. We shot down in the, the Maritime Provinces. And then this last three years, we shot Moonshine for the CBC and E1. And it's just been sold or just been bought by an American network. Those two shows have been the most fun I've ever had in my life doing. So. Favorite. Now, if you win tonight, sorry, well, you're nominated, you're, you're going to win. We know I, you're going to win. I've won already, I guess. So, yeah. uh, is there, what is the one thing you want to say in your speech so everyone knows? I just want to say, uh, I want to say thank you to, to arts workers for being tenacious and hanging in and, and following their hearts and their guts. And, and I want to say thank you to the Academy, of course. For, for honoring arts workers in this way. It's, you know, people, actors struggle their whole lives, so it's really nice to have an academy celebrating them, so. Well, congratulations to you on all your achievements and your award tonight. Wishing you more years of many success. Thank you. Thank you.